Hello everyone, I wanted to talk real quick about a problem I've been currently facing in Unity. We originally had built a lot of our characters to have a very uh, specific structure, as you can see here in the hierarchy. Um, we originally were just kind of dumping all of our data into every character and then we were flipping it at the root, so it, essentially this guy would become a scale of negative one. Well, what that would do is it would inadvertently flip everything um, nested inside, of course, and we have some things we didn't want to flip, like health bars, um, combat data output, um, various other things that we've been putting inside that, you know, you don't want to flip that negatively because then the other health bar flips, looks upside down. Um, we've been rewriting that, but the problem I ran into is that essentially it broke all my animations. So we went through, and this character right here, the scavenger archer, he has a different hierarchy, so we put everything that's getting flipped inside this graphics layer. Now the problem is, is that it broke all my animations. As you can see here in the animation window, when I click on this guy, I get essentially that everything is okay, and then the archer becomes yellow. Now essentially what's going on here is Unity cannot figure out exactly where the nested hierarchy items are. So essentially it's just assuming, oh, these are broken, they no longer work, I don't know where to find these elements. Now, in order to fix this normally through the basic Unity interface, you would have to go through and um, pretty much attempt to rebuild the entire animation. For some crazier animations, like this one would probably take me, oh, what, 15, 20 minutes to probably go through and get everything right. Um, you don't have to do that. You don't have to you know, go through and rebuild it because there's no options in here. You can just remove property, you can't repair. What you can do is you can go into the individual file. So as you can see here, it says scavenger archer dagger attack. And in this interface editor up here, I've pulled up the actual animation file. Now I want to recommend before you move, if you're following along with this, trying to repair some animations, make sure that you make a backup um, of your files with Git or SVN or whatever uh, client it is that you're using. You do not um, want to attempt to edit these because um, I've accidentally bumped some things, added an extra space in some places. Uh, Unity does not uh, respond very well to the YAML files getting um, messed up. Also, if your view does not look like this when you open up the file, you need to turn on uh, data serialization. In order to turn that on, you'll have to go here under Edit, Project Settings, Editor, and you want to make sure that uh, Asset serialization is set to force text. Uh, that way you can actually go through and read it. Um, anything else, I'm not too sure if that's gonna work properly, but that is the way that you need to turn on if this looks like a bunch of gibberish that you can't read. So, back on task here. When we take a look at the Archer, we're gonna go through here and we're gonna repair these files. The quickest way I've found to do this is essentially every single one of these assets um, matches a path. So if we search in here for path, as you can see, I'm getting a bunch of results. And essentially, we want to change that path to what it is now. Let's just take a look here. And graphics. So I'm going to do path space and graphics slash. So that way, I don't really have to do any work here other than just click replace. So because I nested, uh, and all the way, by the way, too, all these elements are now nested inside of graphics to make it easiest to update. So hitbox melee, change that. I'm going to change the other reference to that. And there is another reference. And another. And, okay, so this empty path actually referred to the uh, root originally. If you see a blank path, that's what that means. Um, I'm going to replace it and then I change it to actually be a nested element inside of graphics as body as I didn't want a sprite renderer on the root of my element um, anymore. So now you're going to get down in the paths where you're going to, you can't do like a bulk just, you know, if you wanted to straight up update all the files, you couldn't do it. Because if you did, um, like it was some slash graphics slash by throughout the entire page, you would hit the serialize ID paths. Um, I'm not, uh, these are reference numbers that are used inside the animation file. I'm not entirely sure what they're being used for, but I think that it's essentially a uh, generic binding that's being added to everything dynamically. 
So um, stay away from these numbers. Do not edit them. If you do, the sky will fall. You have been warned. And there are a few more paths to edit in here. So hitbox melee, path graphics, replace, replace, replace. OK. Now save the file and look over here. So as you see, but we updated this. Sometimes it'll kick in and it'll automatically detect the file change. Generally, from my experience, it does not do that. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to quit Unity. Going to load it back up. And okay, let's take a look again. We edited the file of scavenger archer dagger attack. So I'm going to pull up my archer. And there it is, scavenger archer dagger attack. And I run play. There it goes. Didn't actually have to go through and edit anything other than those paths. And as you can see in the console, there are no errors, nothing's freaking out. Um, the old guy, you know, that had the older hierarchy now no longer works, of course, but um, that was kind of what was intended to migrate from that system to this. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, my name's Ash. I'm currently working on a dragon named Cole, and, uh, which is part of this project. Have any questions about this or anything I can help you with? Uh, post it in the comments. Thanks. Bye-bye.